guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Alizea and I'm here for Red Black Transsexual. Get up into the big pair or whatever. I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support. You already know what we're having to do it big or whatever, right? And girl, I'm pre-recording all these videos, but enough about that, girl. Before we get to today's video, because I know you guys seen the title and now y'all might be like, girl, what are you finna do for us? What are you finna give us, girl? Let me give y'all some advice. But before we get into that, I need you guys to like, comment, and subscribe because you will never find another black transsexual like me. Hello, hello, hello. I'm beautiful. You're beautiful. You already know we have to do it big or whatever. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe because, girl, like I said, you would never find another like me. Period. I'm a damn love. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving y'all some dating advice as a black trans woman or whatever, or just as a trans woman in general, because like, girl, I need to put the girls on to some teas or whatever. I need to put y'all on to some stuff. But the first topic that we're going to get into is that not every um, man is attracted to you. I want a lot of people to understand me and listen to me when I say this. Like, when you finally get into your transition, I know a lot of us we're looking for love in all the wrong places. Like I used to look for love sitting over here looking on dating apps. Number one, you would never ever, and if you do, you're freaking lucky. But nine times out of 10, looking on a dating app, especially like Grindr, girl, don't ever look for a, like a boyfriend or a man on Grindr, girl. That is strictly hookup apps. And I want a lot of other people to understand when you're like basically in school, I'm gonna speak like for um, my dolls that are in school. If you're in school, right, and you're a trans woman, I want you to understand any boy that you like or you're attracted to, right? And you might be like, oh my goodness, I don't know. You know, I have a big crush on him, but you know, should I, you know, tell him that I like him or whatever? He might not like me because I'm trans or whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Love, I want you to understand, please be bold. At first, be bold. I'm I, I, I'm always a bold person. I should have been as bold as I am now because, girl, I would have pulled so many more dudes, but we're not going to get into that. But I want you guys to understand um, that when you're in high school, you're going to meet a lot of boys, but when you're an adult, if you're not already, but when you're an adult, you're going to meet so many more boys. I want you to understand uh, when you finally tell that boy that you're trans or when you finally tell that boy that you like them or whatever, right? And they're like, you know, oh, I'm not attracted to your trans women or, you know, I'm just not attracted to you in that way. Don't beat yourself up. Not every man is going to be attracted to you. And I want you to understand that. In your transition, this is the time for you to learn yourself. And this is the time for you to build yourself. This is time for you to learn how to be a young trans woman. And it comes with the struggles. Don't ever think in your transition that everything is going to be easy. It's going to be, you know, uh, roses and um, daisies and stuff. No, honey. It's not going to be like that. It's not. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you. I want you to understand that um, there are 8 billion people in this world. Why be sad over one? Why be mad over one? Please get up and go chase your dreams. I want you to chase your dreams and not be necessarily worried about a boy. Like, you get what I mean? Like, um, these boys, like, girl, nine times out of ten, boys are just so delusional. And they're all, a lot of them, not all, but, like, a lot of boys, they want to just sit over here and <clears throat> beat in some walls. And, you know, you're more than just your body. I want you to understand that you need to have self-worth, like, for real. And that's the next topic that I'm going to get into. So, uh, I want you guys to understand that you have to have self-worth. That's the next topic. Um, I want you guys to understand when you, you know, finally get into your transition, you finally come out as trans, um, the best dating advice I can tell you is also love yourself. I want you guys to understand that you need to love yourself unapologetic because at the end of the day, like you cannot go into a relationship. You cannot sit here and actually talk to a man. If you don't love yourself, you have this self talk with yourself. A lot of people say, talk to Jesus. Jesus will fix everything. Jesus will guide you to fix yourself, but he can only do so much for you. And I'm not very, you know, religious, but I'm very spiritual. I want you guys to understand that it takes it takes time for you to understand yourself and it takes time for you to get in relationships you can't just wake up and just decide you know oh wait you know i want to sit over here and you know get in a relationship da, 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 da. i want to do this i want to do that you know i want to sit over here and have a boyfriend no love you have to slow down you have to get to know that man you can't just get in a relationship just because you're lusting over him and if you don't know what lusting is i'm gonna insert the clip right here how to tell the difference between love and lust. With love, it grows slowly. Meaning you're not pressed about getting out the friend zone in like a day or two. You're willing to wait a month, 
two weeks, three weeks. But I'm going to tell you, at a minimum, it's like three weeks. With love, you're willing to give that person anything. With love, it comes with patience. I mean, don't rush that person to do something. Like, let it, bro, just let it marinate, bro. With love comes respect. And some of y'all folk be really disrespecting y'all partner. Like, y'all got to chill out. With love, there's unselfishness. I mean, you're willing to do 50-50, like, with no hesitation. With love, there's honesty. No gimmicks, no have none, none of that shit. With love, there's friendship. Many of y'all best friends and lovers. With love, there's security. Which means you can trust your partner that they won't even do nothing. You ain't even got to worry about it. That ain't even on your mind. With love, there's constant work. Which means a whole lot of room for improvement. Alright, now here's lust. At first sight. Which means you thought it was love at first sight just because y'all did the deed. But whole time, bro, it's just strictly lust. With lust, that person takes. Which means they're not even looking at you. They in it for themselves. With lust, there's impatience. With lust, there's desires. With lust, is selfishness. With lust, is no loyalty. With lust, that person is trying to keep their image. With lust, there's jealousy. And with lust, that person is really just your fling. You truly have to get to know people. And that's the biggest thing that I'm trying to tell people is to get to know yourself. And have self-worth. You need to have self-confidence. Go in a mirror and tell yourself that you're a beautiful trans woman. You're a beautiful human being. You are beautiful. And that's what makes you you. And that's why a lot of people are attracted to you. If not, will be attracted to you. If you love yourself, you, um, you, show, well, you don't even have to show it. If you love yourself on apologetic and you know that you love yourself and you know there's no insecurity that you really have and you tell yourself that you're so beautiful a lot of people will see the beauty in you you won't even have to show or tell people that you're beautiful they will know it just by based off of you presenting yourself like that i literally go in the mirror every single day as much as i can if not every single day i go in the mirror when i feel insecure and i'm like you know what, Alize, you're beautiful. If not, you know, this is something that you could change later on or just this is something that, you know, isn't, you know, something that you need to be sent over here insecure about. Love yourself. Have some self-worth. Tell yourself that you're beautiful. Before you always get into a relationship, you need to make sure that you have boundaries as well. Definitely have boundaries because if you let a man sit over here and walk all over you, girl, I'm telling you right now, honey, you're going to be sitting over here looking like Chris Sean. Beat it up. Box Chevy. No, it's you know, Chevy. Cheers. <laughs> the next topic that I want to talk about is being trans comes with its cons. I said this in numerous videos, but it does come with its pros and its cons. But a main con and um, you know, being trans is like, you know, I'm not gonna lie, we attract a lot, a lot of straight men. If not, we attract a you know a, a certain amount of men. You you know what I mean? A certain type of man. The biggest thing that I try to tell people is like, you know, please. Please stay humble. I want you to understand all this male validation, all this male attention that you're getting right now, you know, it can easily go away. Like, I want you to understand that stay humble. Please stay humble. And, you know, a lot of boys, like I said, they're only wanting one thing, if, especially if you're on dating apps. A lot of boys just want to sit over here and beat some walls in. And any doll that's sitting over here talking to somebody that's way older than them, like you know wanting them to pay their bills and stuff my biggest thing and this is my biggest it but th this is just my personal opinion okay so you you can quote me all you want in the comments and talk about it i don't care but my biggest thing is i want people to understand that sitting here relying on a man to pay your bills that is literally not gonna that's not going to make you good in the long run. That's not going to have you financially stable in the long run. It might have you financially comfortable, but imagine that man sees, you know, we're going to have, uh, you know, somebody like Gigi Hadid or a Nicki Minaj walk past him. Do you really think he would turn down Nicki Minaj for you? Let's be for real. He could up and get up and just leave you on the curb. No more paying your bills. No more buying you this. No more paying for that. Okay. You need to learn how to save. If you're going to talk to a man that is older than you, you need to sit over here and have, you know, some type of stability and some type of, you know, savings. Learn how to save and budget. The biggest thing is budget. If you're going to talk to an older man as a trans woman, learn how to budget. Don't sit here and splurge on this. Don't sit over here and splurge on that. Do things right. Please do things right and invest your money. And I'm not talking about just invest your money in cryptocurrency and all this and that. Buy a house. 
And I know y'all might be like, girl, buying a house in this economy is crazy. Girl, you don't need to buy no house in California. You don't need to buy no house in um, all these expensive states. You can literally go to Texas or some, you know, horrible. I don't know. I don't know. But you can literally go to a low income state, right? Where property taxes isn't that much. You can put a down payment on the house and you can pay what you're paying for rent, right? I want everybody to understand this. What you're paying for rent, you could be paying for a house. You're paying like twelve hundred dollars for um just rent for a house when you could be paying that for, you know, you know, I mean for an apartment, you could be paying that for a house. You get what I mean, you get what I mean. What? Please have some self-worth and please like remember being trans is not easy. It's never ever going to be easy. You're sitting here waking up thinking that, oh, you know what? I'm trans now. You know, I'm beautiful. I'm this. I'm that. People should respect my pronoun. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. I promise you that's not how it works. Respectfully, I love you guys, but I want you guys to understand being trans is not easy it's not an easy journey so this dating stuff you're going to get lonely it's going to be lonely okay respectfully there's also something that i really wanted to say i feel like a lot of girls strive for passability and they're trying to sit over here and pass and live by society standards i stopped living by society standards a long time ago because i realized it was draining me mentally and i realized you know I'm living for everybody else when I need to live for myself and be happy. The biggest thing that I always try to tell myself is life is not going to be easy. But if you make it through this, you will get to where you want to be. And it's slowly and surely happening. The biggest thing that I feel like I'm struggling with as a trans person, like I said, is just to sit over here and feel accepted by, you know, men technically. Like, you know, I'm, you know, seen as a woman by society. But, you know, when a person really gets to know me, they automatically categorize me as a male. And, you know, as a trans person, that can get very irritating. That can get very, you know, you know, isolated. That can feel isolated and it can freaking make you feel like an outcast. And there are just times where as a trans person, you have to sit over here and you have to come to terms with that. You are a trans person. And I know a lot of trans people don't want to hear the term that they are trans women and not you know real women and i don't necessarily think that you know i'm not a real woman i just feel like that i am personally a trans woman everybody feels differently but i just feel personally if you are a trans woman i want you to understand that not a lot of men particularly will sit here and see you as a real woman and it's understandable because i want you to understand if they can't see you for you and they can't un understand you for you and they don't accept you and all of your flaws and all of your your well-being and all of your personality and just everything that comes with you they never ne meant to be in your life they were never meant to be in your life that's basically what i'm trying to say so i will always say and tell people to never waste your time on these people is basically what i'm trying to say the next topic that I want to talk about uh, is that a lot of times you're going to be someone's first experience or if not, you know, their first time. I want a lot of people to understand um, when you're trans, like a lot of boys, you know, they're curious. Like we're, I guess, the last option. That's literally what it gives because child, what's going on? But a lot of boys, uh, they'll sit over here and they'll, you know, fantasize over you. They'll sit over here and be like, you know... I want to do this with you. I want to do that with you. I want to, you know, sit over here and kiss you here, kiss you there, blah, 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 blah. You know what it's giving. You know what it's giving. My biggest thing is what I, what a lot of the trans community calls those boys is trans chasers. What I call them is just boys who want to experiment. My biggest thing is I'm very open to experimenting with boys because, you know, sometimes they be putting it down. Just sometimes, you know what I mean? But the biggest thing I want everybody to understand is to not fall in love. Like, don't ever fall in love with somebody who's experimenting with you. Because I got you. I got. I want you to understand, and this is the hard truth. You are a experiment. That boy don't love you. That boy don't like you. That, that that boy don't care about you. He can literally get a girlfriend right now, and he's gonna be like, "I'm blocking you. I'll talk to you when I don't have a girlfriend." Literally like that. Literally like that. What you gonna do? Now you got these soul ties, and now you got these feelings, and you're just like. Oh my goodness, he just used me, this and that. Oh my God, I'm so offended. Like, ma'am, it's okay. Calm down. I want you to understand to breathe. The best action that I could tell you is to breathe. Don't give yourself to these men if you know you're... 
if you know that personally you connect to people and you actually catch soul ties you catch feelings to people through you know sitting over here going to sex your favorite place don't sit here and put yourself in that predicament that's the best advice i could give you respectfully you need to take time like i always say take your time getting to know these boys for real because like i said <clears throat> nine times out of ten you're their experiment nine times out of ten you're their first time and it's okay to experiment with those boys but please don't ever get attached because i used to be that gullible trans girl that used to get attached to these boys because i was their first time and they were like yo you go so hard at doing washing machine trimming you go so hard doing this and doing that you know i really rock with you and then they'll block me because they got a girlfriend and then they'll unblock me talk about yeah bro um i would have never blocked you but i had a girlfriend i couldn't have i couldn't let nobody knowing that you know i like you or you know i'm doing this with you and this and that like don't be sitting here entertaining that please and if you're going to entertain that please get something out of it please if it's if it's sitting over here pup pup pastors if it's sitting over here food in your fridge if it's sitting over here getting your grades good something get something out of that man not necessarily money but if you want to do that uh do what you need to do but personally i want you to understand don't let these boys waste your time your time is valuable and i'm telling you this from my standpoint from my experience your time is valuable don't let nobody sit here and waste your time especially when you're sitting over here douching oh my goodness my biggest thing and my biggest it you'll sit here and douche for like five hours because it takes me that long because i'm lactose intolerant but you'll douche right you have nothing in your insides you starving right and you tell the dude now that you're ready or whatever right he ghosts you he don't text you back he not hitting you back up he just ghosted you that irritates me don't waste your time and then out of nowhere the dude will sit here and text you back uh like uh five hours or 20 hours later or the, even the next day or a few days later like oh my bad uh i fell asleep or my bad my bad my bad they favorite word is my bad my bad i'm blocking you that's what i'm gonna say my bad i'm blocking you like i always say a person will show you their true colors once so you better believe them period please understand that don't please please don't let these boys waste your time period that's all i'm gonna try to tell y'all like i want y'all to understand like y'all are beautiful human beings and um you mean so much to me if not to somebody if nobody's telling you that you're beautiful i'm gonna tell you you're beautiful you're a beautiful human being and i'm not just speaking just because you know i'm rambling and stuff like i actually think that you're a beautiful human being and you do mean so much in this world you have you have a purpose that's what i'm trying to say i do want to say this there are a lot of trans women that get the ability to pass and they get to live their life as you know a cis woman or just seen as a woman without getting clocked ever in life and I want a lot of women to understand, and I want a lot of trans women to understand that, you know, don't ever sit here and think you have to trick a man just to get some male attention. Because one, that is very dangerous. Two, that is very wrong. And three, you know, it's not going to get you anywhere in the long run. That man, you know, he's just going to come to terms with, you know, he's now finally fighting his sexuality. And now he's sitting over here thinking that you're a man. Now he's sitting over here, you know, just disgusted and just you and him. I want you to understand personally, like, you know, I've been there and I've done that. You know, I've tricked men. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not, you know, ashamed of it. You know, I've done things in the past that have made me a strong black trans woman to now and I want a lot of people to understand don't ever trick a man just to think you can get attention or just to think that you're going to get attention I've been there and it doesn't get you anywhere and it took me a long ass fucking time to understand that it won't get me anywhere it won't give me the attention that I want it won't give me the the boyfriend that I desire it won't give me the man that I desire I desire somebody who's gonna love me for me how can I say that I desire somebody I'm desiring somebody who's you know trying to love me for me but I'm sitting over here lying to a man telling him I'm a biological woman when in fact I'm a trans woman you can't do that be truthful when you always meet a man be truthful and don't ever sit here and tell him that you're trans in person always tell him you're trans behind closed doors or you know on the phone the best way to go is the on the phone because truthfully if we're gonna be for real you cannot sit over here and be six feet under giving the kitty dragon no tea no shade literally 
learn from my mistakes. That's the biggest thing that I always try to tell people. Learn from my mistakes. I've been there and I done did it. All right, so. So the next topic that I want to get into is that not every man that likes a uh, trans woman is a trans chaser. So I want a lot of people to understand this and um, this could offend some dolls, but oh well. Uh, if you got your heart broken by a guy that you, you know, found attractive or whatever, or that you found, you know, hot or whatever, y'all was kicking it, right? And, you know, he starts to treat you differently or whatever. You know, I want you to understand, like I said, don't please don't get attached to these boys. And a lot of dogs get their um their heart broken. And it's okay to get your heart broken. That's what that's what's gonna make you a stronger dog. I want a lot of people to understand. My bad, excuse me. But I want a lot of people to understand, um, in your transition, everything happens for a reason. Every in your life, in this journey that you're living, everything happens for a reason. Please don't ever sit here and, you know, get overwhelmed and get depressed because this boy is talking to you this way or you're not getting this male attention or you just feel like you're so ugly because you can't find a guy to like you. I I feel like that right now and I'm having that bad depression. Like I'm having that very bad depression right now. And I'm trying to get out of that depression. I'm trying to tell myself that, you know, I, I know that I'm beautiful and I know I'm a human being and I know that I have feelings and stuff. But like, like I said, it's a very lonely world being trans and I want you guys to understand um, it's it's not going to be easy. I, I, like I said, it's not going to be easy and it's very lonely and you know, you attract so many type of men and you know, like I said, the men that are attracted to you specifically that you are trans, I would rather entertain those boys than interact or entertain a boy that is, you know, straight. I'd rather a boy that's open with himself and open to you know me being trans than a boy that's not comfortable with his sexuality or not comfortable with me being trans and embarrassed of me in public i don't want to deal with that type of stuff i don't want to deal with that type of man specifically i want you guys to understand truly like please take care of yourself and please take care of your mental health because these boys only want one thing that's like uh, i keep saying like truly you have to take care of your mental health because like you know, it, it it takes a toll on you being trans with all these people treating you so differently and all these boys treating you so differently. You start to feel like an outcast. And I want you to know, even though you feel like an outcast, you're still a beautiful human being. And I, I'm telling you this from, you know, experience. You are a beautiful human being and your feelings do matter. Stop giving your feelings to these low life, low life, low branch, low vibrational uh, hoodlums, hood boogers like Girl, I'm stuttering. Stop giving yourself to these boys. Period. Please. Please love yourself. Please. That's all I'm trying to say with that. Like, I want you guys to understand this is a journey that you have to take. And not everything is going to be easy. And like I said, keep taking it one step at a time. And please, for the love of God, if you think a man just likes you and you think um, he's a chaser, love, I'm not going to hold you. Nine times out of ten, the chasers know exactly what they're doing. And I'm not talking about, you know, loving wise. I'm talking about, you know, sexy red's favorite place wise. Like, girl, I dealt with a few chasers. And hold, hold up, honey. It was a few of my best experience. No shade, no shade, respectfully. Yeah, get into it. The next topic that I want to get into is communication is key in a successful relationship. I'm not going to ramble about this. I'm just going to get quick to the, um, I'm going to get quick to the, you know, whatever the topic or whatever, right? I want you guys to understand you need to communicate. The whole thing of a relationship and how it can be successful is you communicate and you explain what's right and what's wrong. And you need to set boundaries. I said this numerous times. Set boundaries in a relationship. Set boundaries in friendships too. Don't sit here and if you feel uncomfortable and you feel like, you know, you know, things aren't going right and you want to talk to that person but you feel like they're not going to take it right, tell them, oh, well, if they don't take it right and y'all can't come into an agreement, they never need to be in your life in the first place. The whole thing of being trans is you need to brace yourself. It's never going to be easy. Communicate. And I would, I would insert a clip of somebody explaining it better right here. People don't realize the importance of communication on a consistent basis. If you're not communicating, the first step to physical intimacy is emotional intimacy. That's kind of how courtship works. But people stop the courtship once they're in the relationship. And they forget that, that you need to continuously court your partner. And you need to continuously rediscover your partner. And you need to recognize there's always going to be mystery behind your partner. There's always going to be parts of them that you're not going to know. But you have to be curious about them and you have to inquire about their life and like you have to ask them about their life.
life and almost like kind of go back into the dating experience. I like to communicate with boys and I like to talk to people and I just I just want a strong bond. My whole thing is I want a strong bond. I really want to connect with people. I really want to sit over here and actually talk to somebody and have an actual strong connection. I don't want to just, you know, hide myself. I don't want to hide myself from nobody. So I'm always communicate as much as I can because communication is key, period. Next caller! The next topic that I want to talk about is be yourself regardless. I want a lot of people to understand don't ever dim your light for anybody, especially not no man. If a man is sitting here embarrassed because, you know, you're trans and you're living your life fully and you're, you're yourself unapologetic and you're living yourself and you're just a, such a bubbly person, if you have a bubbly personality, please don't ever change that. I don't care if it comes off as ghetto. I don't care if it comes out as ratchet. I don't care if it just comes off weird. Please don't ever change your personality for nobody. My biggest thing is I used to be such a people pleaser. Like I had a lot of horrible friends and I had a lot of horrible situationships, you know, and they'll be like, you know, oh, I'm doing too much or I'm sitting over here and I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that. If you really like me, you would set me for me and you would give me constructive criticism, not just criticize me and ridicule me. A lot of boys and a lot of girls and a lot of just a lot of people will sit here and ridicule you and you know criticize you for you being you i want you to understand that you need to love yourself and don't ever dim your life for anybody don't ever dim your life for anybody because at the end of the day like i said this is your life and you get to choose how you want to live your journey this is your trans journey and you get to just explore yourself and i want you guys to understand this is your life and you're so beautiful the way that you are i want y'all to ingrain this for real ingrain this in yourself you're beautiful the way that you are you don't need to change yourself for nobody i hate when people will sit in here and try to you know people please to everybody else oh you know my homegirl said i'm so this i'm so that so i need to change this i need to change that you don't need to change nothing about yourself you're beautiful the way that you are and if nobody's going to tell you you're beautiful the way that you are i'm going to tell you you're beautiful the way that you are you really are and if you don't see it go in the mirror and tell yourself it I can't sit here and hold your hand and explain to you every single thing that's right and what's wrong. So you have to do it on your own sometimes, okay? Please be yourself regardless. A man, you know, or a woman or just whatever um, transition that you're going through or whatever, right? Because it's specifically for trans people. But, you know, um, a person will come along in your life and will accept you for you and accept all your flaws and accept all your ghettoness if they truly like you and they truly love you because if a person doesn't accept you for you they weren't never meant to be in your life period and i've been in on business period and just to add context if you don't understand what i'm talking about like i really want people to understand like at the end of the day like i said this is your life and you get to choose how you want to live your life and i always tell people don't ever change your life and don't ever change your journey and don't ever conform and sit over here and change your personality just to try to fit in with somebody or just try to you know sit over here and please somebody don't every people please especially don't people please in a relationship because like i always said and like i was saying in this video if somebody truly loves you and somebody truly likes you they're gonna accept you for you and i realized that a lot of times like i realized you know i was talking to that one dude um and he told me that you know he assessed me for me and you know he likes you know my ghettoness and that's all i wanted is somebody to like my ghettoness the biggest thing that i'm looking for though is somebody to match my ghettoness now i realize you know i want somebody to match my ghetto i mean i want somebody to match my ghettoness and i want somebody you know love my ghettoness and the biggest thing that i always try to tell people is just to love yourself because like you're going into these relationships looking for love and these other people and stuff like that i want you to understand you have to communicate you literally have to communicate if you see something wrong and you see a red flag and then somebody is sitting here guilt tripping you and being narcissistic and saying that you know well you did this so i did that no it should not be like that and a relationship shouldn't be like that and i know i'm rambling but i really wanted to talk to you guys and explain to y'all that that's wrong don't ever sit here and let somebody play in your face i always say this don't let nobody play in your face and don't nobody let nobody play in your time somebody will truly show you their colors once and you need to believe them period live in your truth and don't ever change yourself. Stop changing yourself and stop hiding yourself. This is why I keep saying you're beautiful the way that you are. The last 
topic that I want to talk about and I might ramble in this one but I want you guys to truly really understand that you know you are the prize and you have to hold yourself to that high standard I walk outside every single day like I'm a movie star like I'm just the main character and it's crazy that I do that and I feel like that's kind of selfish of me doing that but oh well like girl who's gonna beat me up my biggest thing is that I try to tell people is that you are the prize. At the end of the day, you will forever be the prize. You are a beautiful human being. And if nobody sees that in you, you got to see that self in you. You got to see that in yourself. The biggest thing that I try to tell people is that, you know, going and dealing with these boys and dealing with these DLs, a lot of these DL boys are very insecure with themselves. And a lot of DL boys don't know what they really want in life. They don't even know if they're truly gay or they don't even know if they truly like you or they do. They're just battling demons. You're messing with a demon when you're messing with a DL boy, you know. And my biggest thing is I'm not going to criticize anybody for messing with a DL boy because I do it, you know. We're all human beings. Don't beat yourself up over something. Like, you get what I mean? Don't rely on one person. You get what I mean? And um, I want you to remember if you do get in a relationship, like I said, please get to know the person. A relationship strengthens when you really have a strong bond and i'm not talking about just no itty bitty little things like can y'all go without sitting over here going to sexy rest place for four weeks like ask yourself this like be for real can you go four weeks without going to sexy rest favorite place would y'all last and if you say no or he says no then y'all not meant to be respectfully like that's just the biggest thing that i try to tell people is just to get to know each other and um, when I was talking to this one dude and I was really getting to know him for him I told this story time on my channel but like I was getting to know him and the biggest thing that I had you know a struggle with like I love to go to sexy red's favorite place that's just my biggest thing and he didn't like to go to sexy red's biggest play um sexy red's favorite place so that was you know I, we was bumping heads there and another thing is he's so boring I hate boring people I don't know if anybody else is like me, but I hate boring people. I like people that talk. I like people when they talk, you can just feel, you can feel the, you can feel the energy when they talk. I hate people when they talk, they just sound boring. Like, girl, if you don't ask some razzle dazzle and yo sparkle sparkle, like, girl, talk. Like, girl, talk with some sparkle sparkle. Like, I hate boring people. So that's why I always try to, you know, shed light onto people. And I always try to be just the beautiful black trans woman that I am. I don't want to dim my light to anybody because I'm beautiful and I love myself. I don't ever need to hide myself for anybody. Why would I hide myself for somebody? If you don't see the beauty in me and you don't see the personality and the, the wonderful person that I am, you don't ever need to be in my life. And that's just how I feel. That's how I feel about anybody, even including friends and family. Like, if you don't see me and you can't accept me for all of my flaws, you don't ever need to be in my life. I don't like people that, you know, ridicule me and criticize me for the most dumbest stuff and criticize me for my loudness i would never want to change my loudness and i would never want to change anything about me and you should never want to change anything about you don't ever change yourself just because people are criticizing you people are saying you should do this or you should do that or you should be this or you should be that way i want you guys to understand that you need to love yourself and that's that's what i mean by you need to you know sit over here i'm looking at my list right now my bad but that's what um i was telling y'all y'all need to like have standards and y'all need to have self-worth that's what i was trying to say y'all need to have self-worth because if you don't have no self-worth you don't have no standards and you don't have no confidence you're not going to be you're not going to be able to sit here and have a, a stable relationship and if you do girl surprise surprise girl you strong for real because girl my biggest thing is with my friends, like, just, I'm looking for a bond. I'm not just looking for lusts and all that extra stuff. I want actual connection. And I want y'all to stop falling in love with these straight boys. Because nine, nine times out of ten, you're just an experiment, literally. You're literally just an experiment. Please love yourself. I want you to really love yourself. And I wish I did this video better but i'm losing brain cells and i'm just not in that right head space right now but i really want you guys to love yourself that's the ba this basis of this video is just love yourself 
if you're gonna you know start dating as a trans woman you have to go in here with a strong mindset you have to go in here knowing that you are the prize and don't let nobody waste your time don't let no do boy waste your time once that man sits over here and flakes on you the first time you need to block him don't ever give somebody the benefit of the doubt please don't ever give nobody the benefit of the doubt you got to remember it i'm telling you this you got to remember you, you can't let nobody play in your face you really cannot i used to let so many boys play in my face it was crazy that I let so many people slide. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm so bamboozled. I would never let that happen again. I got to the point in my life where, you know, I'm not dealing with that type of stuff no more. So, like I said, I'm beautiful. I'm black. I'm trans. You're beautiful. You're trans. You're a woman. You're a beautiful human being, and I want you guys to understand to love yourself. That's all I'm trying to say. Make sure you stream Nicki Minaj. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you know you um. Turn on the bell or something like that, girl. I don't know. I'm just rambling, but I love you guys. Uh, Shri Nicki Minaj, and I'm your favorite black transsexual. You will never find another black transsexual like me. Hello, 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 and bye, love.